Can I come back to something that I received as a, like this um, teaching um, from this poet named Joanne Kiger, and she had received it from her teacher, who's Robert Duncan, who's a famous poet, and which is that um, to, to, to not be afraid of, of having a magical hearth um, as your home. Uh, my name is Hua Win, <laughs> and I'm a poet, a teacher of poetics. Um, but the beautiful thing is I only teach poetics, I only teach creative writing, so I really get to think about all those big questions about making, right? So I end up writing out of my practice, which is also about teaching, which is also about community. It all, it feeds the practice. It's really quite nice because it is integrated, you know, I don't, I'm not compartmentalizing. I mean, like, going back to the question about inspiration, it's really about showing up, like just keep showing up for your art, you know, and staying in it, um, which also includes being in conversation with other people who are in it. So I've been doing these workshops because it was the workshop that I wish I had had, which is how I, what, how I designed it. So we spend the first hour reading from the texts. I set up a writing prompt based on observations that we experienced, you know, by the reading. We all go right, and that's it. And then at the end, we get to talk about our poems. I think I lead with sound in a certain way. Like there's a kind of, uh, there's, a, there's a percussive place that I go with my, my, my measure. It's just very kind of, it's very monosyllabic. And then I realized, oh, like, like actually really pretty recently, embarrassingly re recently, that Vietnamese is a monosyllabic language. <laughs> I was like, oh, right. You know, so it's like almost like this literal, like ghost language that I'm like using. So I didn't ever speak the language. I can hear it really well. I mean, I think it goes back to music, you know, looking at lyrics. Um, I, liked, uh, I liked interesting songwriters. I liked dissonance, like between lyric, and then just naturally, I think, being interested in experimentation. The risk of saying something to me is important. There's a kind of vulnerability of that, you know, in any art. Well, I think it's the demand I place on myself. These poems are like poems from Red Juice, which had more themes of like mother, mother things having babies, right? Thinking about the body, thinking about the, you know, the gender and biology, feminism, ecological collapse. I'm digging really, right, in a certain way. There's been a couple of that are sort of story poems that I've been having fun with uh, that have to do actually with like uh, my mother's like biography, you know, the diaspora that I'm that I'm part of. The first time that I've ever had, you know, sort of content directed uh, occasions. Constellation of possibilities is one of how I'm trying to keep it open. Because uh, I find if I frame it too much, um, it makes it too tight or somehow not that buoyancy that I'm looking for when I'm thinking about uh, poems that I care about the most. I needed some distance to be able to manage the histories of, of the particular context of the stories that I was telling. Actually, now I'm like much better equipped to address the materials from a poetics that feels like, like the exact right way I want to tell the story. That it can contain a, a moment in time, but then it also feels timeless, you know. Um, that it's small, but, then, but it also feels vast.